In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to use a sliding potentiometer. For this tutorial you'll need an Arduino, three jumper wires, male to female, and a sliding potentiometer. This is our sliding potentiometer and basically the slider is just a resistor which adjusts the voltage put here on the VCC. And while we're at it, there are six pins, and as you can see over here, there is OTA and OTB, which means output A, output B. They're exactly the same, but sometimes it's nice to have an extra output. So, the remaining pins are the ground and the VCC. So if you put a current on the VCC, and the ground to the ground, basically what the resistor does is reducing the amount of current flowing between the VCC and the output. So what you can do is with your analog port on your Arduino you can measure this voltage and you can determine a certain value from it. Another thing to remember is that you can remove the knob. You can with a small amount of force remove it and now you're able to build it inside some kind of wood or some kind of plastic enclosure and you can add the knob later. The inner scaling of this sliding potentiometer depends on the type you've bought. There are basically three different types of sliders. You have the inverter clock rhythmic, the linear and the logarithmic. If you have a slider which is the same amount of resistance added when you move from the bottom to the top as from the center to the same amount to the top then it's linear. As you can see here in the charge the resistance and the position increase the same steps every time. If we have a look at the logarithmic scale then we see that the resistance goes slower and while the position is getting higher and in a certain time, which is when the slider is at the center you see that the resistance is increasing dramatically so basically the invert lock is the opposite you see the resistance is increasing very fast till the center and then it's getting less fast and gets slower and slower and slower the thing is that this sliding pot has a logarithmic scale. So what it means is that from the bottom to the center is the same as from the top to the center. That's what you see here in the chart. This looks the same as over here. So when I move my slider from the center to the top, so we're going from the center to the top, you see more resistance is added and when I go to the bottom with the same amount as I showed before, like this, then you'll see that the resistance gets very slowly upwards. So keep this in mind when you buy a sliding potentiometer or a potentiometer in general, that you buy the right one. This kind of sliders, the logarithmic sliders, is often used in audio systems where the sliders are uh, increasing the volume, not in a linear way, but in a logarithmic way. Building the circuit is easy. You have the ground, which is connected to the ground of my Arduino. You have the VCC, which is connected to the VI volts on my Arduino. And you have the OTB, which is output B, which is connected to analog in zero. So let's have a look at the code. On line 17 and 18 I've defined two variables. One for the pot meter pin which is analog zero and one for the pot meter value which we set to zero. The setup is only initializing the serial monitor and the loop only has three lines. So we read out the pot meter value and we do an analog read on the pot meter pin to have its analog value. We write this value to the serial monitor 
and then we pause for 100 milliseconds. So that's basically it. I'm now going to upload this to my Arduino and show you what it looks like. When I open up my serial monitor after uploading my sketch, you see they're all zeros. That's because my pot meter is uh, completely down. When I move it slightly up, you see an increasing of the values to the maximum of 1023. You see it's a little bit about 1022, 1023. The thing is that if you remember this sliding potentiometer is actually a resistor. So these outer values aren't completely exactly 5 volts. So it's kind of about I think 4.99 or something. So don't trust it too much on these outer values. Now you've learned how to read out this sliding potentiometer. You can also use it, for example, to control the flashing of an LED or maybe the fading of an LED. Just fiddle around with it. But I have a challenge for you. If I move the slider completely down, it shows zero. When I move it completely up, it shows 1023. My challenge for you is to change this behavior that when I move the slider completely up, it shows me minus 512 and when I move it up it shows 512 and when I move it to the center it shows zero. So this is used when you are a DJ and you have the crossfader which is mixing the sound of two players then in the center you hear 50% of each device playing music. So it's really nice if you can learn how to move these scales around. If you can't figure it out, in the course materials, as always, the example and the code of this challenge. But I encourage you to figure it out yourself, since then you'll learn the most. I see you in the next episode, and if you have any questions, just drop them here in the comments.